You know, I never would have thought that I needed one of these. But now that I got it, I just can't live without it, yo. Let's talk about it. So first, I'd like to say thank you for for fine for sending this out to me, because I'm telling you, I truly did not know that I needed this stream deck till I experienced the stream deck. I've seen it for years. I've seen people talk about him, but I'm like, you know, why spend money on that? All I got to do, how lazy can that be? All I got to do is just click my thing and open it up. But yo, I'm telling you, when you customize it and it just be a one button click, you ain't got to worry about it or certain pages that you just want to get too fast or certain, I'm telling you, it's dope. So if you haven't experienced it, you should try it and experience it, especially with Fafan, because they make it easy to even experience it because it's at a good price point you feel me on amazon right now with 64.99 and also let me say before we get deeper all my words are my own all right so let's get into what's in the box first so what's in the box nothing crazy you get an 8.2 foot usb a to usb c cable and the user manual nothing extra just everything that you need and now let's talk real quick about the features and the functionality. Now it works on both Mac and PC and each LCD button is fully customizable. I'm talking icons, colors, shortcuts, macros, etc. You can run apps, launch folders, mute your mic, post a social, even control lighting on this deck if you hook it up right. I haven't done that one yet. I definitely want to do that. And what I love also, it works seamlessly with OBS and other streaming software. The plugin system gives access to tons of free extensions, all downloadable inside of the software. You can drag and drop things in and out easily. And it's a simple plug and play setup, nothing hard. And if you've ever used an Elgato Stream Deck, then you're gonna be familiar with this one, obviously. But for fine keeps it even more simple for beginners while still letting you do a whole lot. Now let's talk a little bit about build and design on this bad boy. Now the body itself, it's a solid plastic build, smooth top, sandblasted bottom, comes in black and white. It has 15 large LCD buttons, acrylic finish so that they don't scratch easily, even after a ton of use fully programmable you can customize both visuals and functions rgb light strip with a dedicated button for color changes not software controlled though it's light solid and does not feel cheap the big lcd buttons actually feel premium for a budget deck and you wouldn't expect something like this to be real heavy anyway so you know it, it's it's what it needs to be trust me it's nice it feels good it looks good and i just like all that i just i man i love the way this thing looks man it just makes your even if you don't care about it man just get it just for the look of it <laughs> let me shut up all right let's keep going yo now let's talk a little bit about the software that comes with it it is easy it's simple at first i was a little you know because i never messed with none of this that type of stuff before so i was a little bit like ah, i don't know if i'm gonna be able to handle it or understand it but it was pretty easy you know what i mean so let's talk about it real quick now it has a clean layout with five sections it has a device list screen preview plugin store customization area and plugin settings each key can be mapped with functions icons or macros I love that it supports launching software. It can control the media, like I said before. It can adjust lights, even check the weather info, but I have not hooked that up. I gotta see how that works because I haven't even looked into that, but it's crazy all the little stuff this thing could do, but let's keep going. And all the plugins are all free. That's dope. So this is, I'm gonna just show you a little bit of what I've got going on here. This is your for fine you know software it's got your default scenes and then you can do a lot of other stuff here i keep it simple i'm gonna be honest with you or i'm about to change it all right this is right here, up here you got the fine control deck you got all this stuff here all right you got the toolbox that's your hotkeys hotkey switch mouse events open open an app text passwords multimedia you got so much audio player, play sound, stop. You could do sound effects for this stuff, set up your sound effects, all kind of stuff. OBS studio, all everything's here. Virtual cameras, mixers, studio, everything, man. Discord, 
the multifunctional display stream decks sound pad you know what i mean all that good stuff all right so it depends on what you want to do if you can create if you want to create a hockey you know then that's different if you want to just open an app then that's different a hockey you would hit hockey obviously and then if you want to do open an app you can do open an app click there bring it in and boom now you can open the app now let's say you looking for i don't know i'm picking it audacity so i'm gonna hit audacity all right and you can either leave it like that and you see it already came up because it's already a software that's installed into your computer all right and if you want you can also write audacity on it if you want to or you can just not write it and once you do that it's a wrap and then i'm a i'm a click on my i'm you're not seeing it but i'm a click on it boom and you see audacity just popped up see and so that's my point is that it's that easy it's that fast okay i'm gonna delete this okay now so I'm just saying it's that easy. And it's the same thing with creating a hotkey. You go into your whatever software it is, find out what the hotkey is, and then assign the hotkey. It's so simple. It's crazy. You know what I mean? But you could do so much to this. I mean, we could stay on this forever. And I also love you can create your own custom icons. But that's a whole other thing. You know, if you need to know that, let me know. But I'm able to just click of a button, go live of a click of a button go record and i love that you know i love that it's so easy to to just do that instead of having to grab the mouse and go over here no i just click one thing and you could do way more that's just uh you could do way more controls like i said you could mute your mic you could you can route you could do so many things with this but i keep it simple i'm a simple dude but if you wanted to go crazier you could and that's what i love about this it just makes things easier now let's talk about obs real quick because i use both obs and streamlabs and I use OBS specifically to record any, you know, recordings. I don't use OBS to go live, you know, with, but I do use OBS to record with. Because um, I find it just gives me the best quality, you know what I mean? And recording in OBS for doing review things like this or anything I want to record, period. All right. Um, other than that, I use Streamlabs for going live. So I have two different setups for Streamlabs and I have a setup for OBS. I got Streamlabs, Photoshop, Cubase, Epic, my YouTube channel, TikTok, website, Chrome, email, Genius Link, and OBS. If I hit Streamlabs, you see that pops up automatically. And for my Streamlabs, I got it set up the same way as for my OBS. This is record. This is to go live. And these are my different, would be my different modes. All right. That's what this would be. All right. So what are some cons or maybe some things that can be improved? I've heard some people say that they don't like the fact that the RGB um, can't be controlled in software, you know, because the RGB is only controlled with a button in the back. In the back of this thing, you have a button. And as you press it, you can cycle through the different RGB um, modes. It doesn't bother me. Like, why do you care if it could be controlled in software? But I've just figured, let me say it just in case you might care. Um, but me personally, I don't really care. I mean, you just reach in the back, click the button, get it to where you like it, and it stays there. So, but I just had to mention it. And also sometimes, you know, this can create some fingerprints. If you get the black version, there's a little bit of fingerprints. But again, it's a minor thing, you know, I'm just mentioning it. But for me, again, I don't really care, but I'm mentioning it. it's my job. So I'm supposed to give you all the info. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to do. Another kind or something that can be improved is I wish it would come with uh, a way of making it sit up better because it's a little bit the way it comes. I don't feel like it sits up enough. So what I did to fix it is I took my actual it's just a cell phone holder that i purchased on amazon and um 
I use that now to prop it up or to put it any way I want to. As you see right here, that's how I'm using it. Um, and it works great. And that's what I use now to prop it up. It's my cell phone holder. Because I was looking for one online but couldn't find one. And then I saw my, my, my cell phone holder. I'm like, I think I could use that. So I did it. It worked great. So that's what I do. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to use it too for whatever stream deck you have you know but it works great but other than that i don't really have much of a gripe with none of this it's a great great it's a great system so let's get into the pros and what i liked i love the fact that it has large bright lcd buttons easy to see and hit the buttons feel durable and are perfect for long streams the subtle rgb glow looks good without being over the top if you know what i mean lightweight but sturdy build now the software like i said is definitely beginner friendly but still very powerful. And I love obviously the free plugins and the smooth integration with OBS. For real, when you press on these buttons, there's no lag. It just reacts, it does what it needs to do, and it works all day. I mean, it's I haven't had no issues at all. I mean, I just have all the important things at a click of a button, and that's what I love that this thing offers, that it just hurries up my workflow in that way. And like I said, you can do way more with it, create more hotkeys for different types of softwares. You can create hotkeys in DaVinci Resolve, everything. Anything with a hotkey, you can pretty much customize it for it to work with this. It just makes it easier. It just this just makes it easier to work. That's all. Um, call it lazy. Call it whatever you want. I don't think it is. I think it's smart. Um, and I think it's something that if you don't have it, you just don't need. You need it. You just don't know you need it, but you need it. So just get it. You're going to be happy about it. Trust me. I'm telling you. My final thoughts, basically, for the price that the D6 is at, it gives you most of what the most expensive stream decks offer, minus a few small things. If you're streaming, editing, or just want a better control of your workflow, it's definitely worth checking out. I'm telling you. And yo, drop a comment if you're thinking about buying one or you maybe have one already. What you think about it? How does it help you out? So if you're interested in any of this stuff, I have links in the description below. It's no extra cost to you. But if you use the link, it'll help out the channel a little bit. So I appreciate it. Um, other than that, hey, this is all I got for you. Till next time. You know, if you got any questions or comments, hey, like I said, leave them down below. And um, that's about it, y'all. Be blessed. Um, appreciate you. Subscribe, hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm out.